In this video, we'll upload a basic website with cPanel. Thanks for checking out this video. If you're just starting or even thinking about starting a career in web development, you're in the right place. I upload new videos every week. Hit subscribe and the bell to get notified. So what is cPanel? Well, it's a very popular control panel that comes with most hosted web services. So before we get into cPanel, let's talk a bit about web hosting. So one thing that you'll want to do as a web developer is get a domain name and sign up for web hosting. You can use the site for testing projects, practicing deploying websites, or for your developer portfolio. Now there are a ton of hosting companies out there. The one that I use is Web Hosting Squared. Now Web Hosting Squared has not paid me for this video. You're welcome to use any service that you prefer. Web Hosting Squared does have a nice package here for $6 a month. It includes WordPress Website Builder if you're going to use WordPress and you don't have to. It also comes with an SSL certificate, FTP accounts, one gigabyte of SSD storage, unlimited bandwidth, five databases, and five emails. So it's a pretty good deal at $6 a month. So if this looks good to you, I do have a link in the description below where you can sign up. Now the link is an affiliate link. So you would be helping me out by using the link if you do decide to go with Web Hosting Squared. All right, so once you sign up, this is what you'll see. So one of the domains that I have is codestackerdemo.com. So I use this for my videos and for testing and demos. And here you can manage your domain. You can see your disk usage, bandwidth. You see I don't really use this site much. I've got a few shortcuts here at the bottom. You can create email accounts quickly here. But the main thing you'll be looking for is this login to cPanel. So I already have that one open. So this is cPanel. Um, depending on which web hosting company you go with, your cPanel may look a little bit different, but overall it should look similar. The first section here is your file management. And the next one is your billing and support. And this is where it might vary a bit between hosting companies. The next one is your databases. You have MySQL and PostgreSQL that you can choose from. PHP MyAdmin to manage the database. The next section is domain management. Uh, and then email management metrics so a lot like google analytics but it's not quite as in-depth as google analytics but it's not bad the next section here is security so you can manage your ssl certificates ssh stuff like that and under software we have cloudflare php pair packages and Perl modules and then under advanced uh, you've got a terminal you can run cron jobs preferences is your uh, user management and passwords and contact information all of that in this next section, your app installer, you can quickly install WordPress or Joomla. There's a lot of different options here. And the last one here is a WordPress manager. So very easy to get started on WordPress if that is your goal. But this video isn't going to be an in-depth tutorial on cPanel. I'm just going to show you how to easily upload your basic website in cPanel. And I'm assuming that you already have a website built. So there are a few options you have to upload your site. There's FTP, which stands for File Transfer Protocol, and this requires FTP client software such as FileZilla, and then that software connects to your site to upload your files. Another option is Git version control. So cPanel has Git integration, and you could connect your Git repository and have your site loaded from there. But if you just have a simple site, the easiest way is to just use the built-in file manager in cPanel. I would never use it for anything complicated, but for a simple site, it's perfect. So in the file manager, it's, it's what you would expect. You have a bunch of folders and files, and really all that you're going to be looking at is this public HTML. All right, so by default, you may have some files in here. Um, depends on which hosting company you go with, uh, or it could just be empty. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is to put our website into a zip file. That's just going to make it easier to upload. So I've got a demo site here. I've got an images directory, a CSS file, HTML, and a JavaScript file. So I'm just going to highlight all of these, right click and send to compress zip folder. And then I will just name this uh, demo website. So now back here in the file manager, I could just hit upload. All right, so now we can either select file or drag them here. So I'm just going to take the zip file and drag it right there. And it's uploading. Now I'll go back to the file manager. And we see the zip file there, so we just select the zip file. And then way over here, hit Extract. And that's fine, that's where we want to put it, Extract Files. And done. So now we have our website here. 
Now I can delete the zip file. I don't need that anymore. It's just taking up space. And so now we can go to the website. And that's it. The website is up and running. So let me show you this demo website really quick. It's uh, the new EarPods. I don't know if you've heard of them. They're great. Uh, we've just got some dummy text here, more info button. Um, this is the best tech company. And we have watches and accessories. And so uh, if you notice that animation, let me reload it. And so this is just one page. You'll notice as we scroll down, there's some more animation. The nav bar transforms as you scroll down. And when you click on the navigation, it has smooth scroll. So if you'd like to learn more about what else you can do with cPanel, or if you want to see how I built this demo site, let me know in the comments below and hit the like button. I want to make videos that you want to see, so you have to let me know. All right, so before you go, if you like this video, a thumbs up is appreciated. I upload new content every week, so hit subscribe and the bell to get notified. And if you think this video or any of the videos on my channel might be helpful to someone else, please share them. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram at CodeStacker. And thanks for watching.